what's up guys it's zed and this is episode three of the create a club career mode on fifa 22 we are using our team zilla fc and as you guys can see on the league tables we are undefeated and well we don't have quite a winning streak going on because we have a draw so this is basically what the table looks like we're 16 points we're three ahead of Sheffield United and they're facing Preston North End, which is third. So that's a huge match that's coming up. Then us were playing against Huddersfield. I'm going to be simming this match all the way to the match against Barnsley. Now I, I I'm not sure if I should use my uh I'm not sure if I should use my first team or second team to sim. But I think I'm just going to use my first team to sim all the way to this date. We draw against Huddersfield. That is quite unfortunate. Then we grab the win against Bournemouth. Sorry, Middlesbrough. So I want to use my second team for this match. You guys already know how this works. You guys know who and who is where. So I'm just going to quick sim the match and let's see if we're able to grab the win. And we do Faulkner and Strandberg. It's like these guys are the only ones that score. And quite surprisingly, the top scorer is George Faulkner, which is our skipper, followed by Logan DeVoe, then Jürgen Strandberg, Jadon Rivera, then Karim Zaid has just three goals, Al Rahal has one, Lee Suho has one as well, Gabriel Shagari has one, and Stanley Todd has one as well. And that's all the players that have scored this season. All right, so I did the... A bit of a rotation for the first team we have Dow coming on in place of Strandberg so Strandberg is a bit low on stamina then Al Rahal is going to the right back position and Harrison is replacing Al Rahal at the center back position so this is what I'm using against Barnsley so I'll talk to you guys after the match well what a game we have in store for you today the hosts have been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the championship. It's the Blades, and they face Barnsley. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, it's going to be fascinating to see who comes out on top because the hosts have scored more goals than any other side in the league, but their opponents have the most watertight defence. Who will come out on top? Well, Derek, I hope we see a really good game today. We've got an expansive attack, as you said, against a brilliantly organised defence. Who will come out on top? And the pass could do damage. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. First of all, where's the defenders? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Chisel an opportunity. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. They survived the attack, pressing high to win the ball. He must finish! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a... So the corner played into the box. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Well, the crowd are willing them to score here. They've created so many chances. And over comes the corner. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. It's 
it's got to be. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just played. Thank you, Alex. What can the Blades do from this position? Oh, surely. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And while it's certainly not a clean strike of the ball, he makes enough contact on it to beat the keeper. I believe there's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a second for Sheffield United. They've pulled ahead by two with 48 minutes played. Can he finish? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. The Blades come away with it. It might be. And it goes. Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. While the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And he clears the danger. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And he's in. Is it going to be? A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, almost at full time, and the home side very much... In... Derek, this could be a goal here. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which could protect the ball. Played towards the back post. Well, thumped clear. Oh, surely. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Looking attack here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles. Nil. Wow, that is... This is the highest I have ever scored at the beginning of any career mode I've ever done. I mean, it's not the first episode, but like, it's the beginning of the series per se and that's really amazing we we're able to get six goals past barley in our home stadium that is this is what i'm talking about i don't want anything i think i finally figured out how to how to deal with the bad defending and uh, it's it's some sort of tactics that i use but i'm not quite sure if it's going to work for all the matches but that's what i use for this match and we were and we didn't concede any at all. Like, we kept that high line and, you know, I just, like, focused so much on the defending and, well, everything else came out good for me. So, so I just remember that I have, like, around 30-something million in the, in the bank out of the money I used to get my um, created players. So, Eduardo Camavinga is a good offer. I mean, he... For some reason, he's not in Real Madrid, so this is actually an opportunity for me to get 
to get him. But then I want to see how how good this guy is, Ryan Gravenberch from Ajax. I want to see if he will be better than Kamavinga or if he will be cheaper than Kamavinga. I'm not sure. But Kamavinga is around 29. But I know that like they're going to ask, ask for a lot. So if I can't use the money I have to get him, then I'm going to try and go for Gravenberch. Next up is the match against Hull City. I'm going to sim that and go all the way to this match against Blackburn Rovers. So I'm sitting past them in my second team and let's see what we are going to be able to pull off. Rivera scored. Rivera scored again. And who? And Shagari. So Rivera scored two and Shagari scored the last. Or that's Shagari scored first and Rivera scored the remaining two. All right, so for this match, I'm bringing up my first team again against Blackburn Rovers. I forgot, Zaid is the first player to get an overall of over 80 and I mean other than the odd warrior that we bought, I mean from the players that came with the team normally. So that is that is pretty good. Can we repeat what we did against Barnsley to Blackburn Rovers? They're an easier team on paper because they're like down low on the table and we are like first and we're still undefeated so can we keep this streak? Our camera lens trained on one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's the Blades, and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Well, their attacking play has been brilliant. They're always looking to pass it forward. The wide players get good crosses into the box and the forwards have taken their chances. These fans will be hoping for more of the same today. And the game begins. And a bad pass it was. Alderweireld. Faulkner. Zaid. Lovely work to get past his man. There's a slide draw pass. And a goal! 1-0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Faulkner. Oh, great piece of individual skill. see it came off him last and as a result it will be an own goal so unfortunate now a decent position preferring to go infield can he convert oh brilliant goalkeeping And he's fired over the corner. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Is it 
well here it is again it's a good delivery from the corner which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal plays as well i don't think they're let up in the second 45 can they take advantage blocking it can he finish this and a goalkeeper in great form An unforced error, you've got to say. He's in with a chance. It has to be, surely. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic... Something to worry about here. Strandberg. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but I don't think the keeper should be... Harrison. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced, and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And he takes it away. And it might be. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Thanks as always, Alex. Great opportunity. Didn't fall the keeper. And collected tidily. He had plenty to you tell us. Yep, it's another goal for Sheffield United. It's now 4-0 with only a few minutes left to play. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Can he finish this? Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Al Rahab. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. Okay, that is another really, really huge win. I think this thing is actually really working. This tactic that I use now. It's quite sad that I was able to get the clean shot. I just like lost concentration at that point. But I mean it's good. I mean if we can keep on like this, then this is going to be like a flawless win in the in the uh, championship. I really hope that happens. And maybe we can even go for the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup with the way we're going. Although it's really, really hard to beat those big team to beat those big teams that we'll finally get to meet later on in the competition. Okay, so now we're here in this interview. The headlines of today will be all about Rivera's stunning performance and his two goals which sealed your victory. Is he our star man? I think our star man will be Karim Zaid because Karim Zaid really... Number one, he's like the highest rated player out of the players I, I had from the beginning other than all the wild. And then... Well, he's like he drops most of the assists. I think he has the highest assist in the team. Like... For the matches I have played, so I think like to me he's definitely the best player. But Jaden River, Jaden River has scored way more goals than Karim Zaid, and even Gil Devo has scored more goals. Sorry, Logan Devo has scored more goals than Karim Zaid. 
and Jado Rivera as well. So, well, he, I wouldn't say he's the he's the star player, but he's definitely definitely a really good player. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not just about one player. I mean, all the players in the team are good. I mean, sorry that his morale went down, but that's actually the truth. Because without Karim Zaid, he wouldn't have scored those two goals that he scored today. Because like Karim Zaid assisted both of them, if I'm not mistaken. Are you confident you can avoid defeat again? What do you mean by again? Have we lost any matches though? I mean, other than the ones at the preseason, I'm not obsessed with the run to be honest. Well, we are looking stronger and stronger because, for real, we've grown like a lot stronger from the first two episodes that I have played. It looked to be as if Black Rovers weren't ever going to be able to put your team under pressure. Well, they they weren't because like we held. We held the position like mad, like I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. But then they had no chance really on paper and on the field. They had no chance on beating us. Yeah, they just couldn't handle our attack. I mean, we're easily like penetrating the defenses. I mean, it, it, it could have easily been ten nil or ten one rather in this match. So the next match is against Nottingham Forest and. This match is for the next episode, so thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, if you enjoyed the amount of goals that we scored in this episode, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, share the videos so that more people can come and watch the this career mode with us. And uh, if you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.